All right, I'm back at it. <laughs> Move my hair back. So, I've got um, some whole grain cheddar. I've got like these bags here. From this color turn I come on celery. Here's another one. I've got these that I have. And it's whole grain. <laughs> I've got all this stuff. Yeah, I love the cheddar ones. I love that with the cheddar ones. There's the benefit bars. And I have the mini bars. <laughs> yeah, red hot and rolling. Here's the breadstick. It's ready. <laughs> red hot and rolling. To add one bowl of soup. And so we got through that video. The noise stops, so that's good. I mean for now. <laughs> but yeah, we'll put it like Okay, I'll do my hair like that. <laughs> okay, so let's eat. I'm gonna eat. I wanna chomp on some celery soup. And I put cheese in my soup. Look how pretty I'll show you. That's your mama made me the soup yesterday. And then on top is the coriander seeds. It's good for so many things. Soothing your stomach, soothing your nerves. I really need it. Um it's amazing for digestion, all sorts of things. <laughs> so, coriander, cilantro. Cilantro is a really good, uh, like a blood purifier. Um, it's known to clean out um, heavy metals. and It's just a good cleanser and blood purifier. It's incredible. Yeah, it, it is great for weight loss. It's great for clearing your skin. It's wonderful. So I put that on there and also it's a magic spell. It's some magic in my soup, I would say. And, uh, oh, I'm going to do another secret. This one. And I have Margie Simpson Caprice. I'm a little more calm, a little more happy about those. But yeah. So I'm going to light up. I'm going to have some bites. And then I'm going to watch some videos in between and gather my thoughts and pray and gather my thoughts. Just gather my thoughts. You know what I mean? 333 here we go I know a lot of folks like my smoking videos and I'm not gonna stop for any for any trolls on here red hot and rolling you know what I mean the menthol is so it's so healing so soothing and um, it's so magnificent to smoke out the room, smudge it, smoke it out. I did um, some incense yesterday with the, those very coriander seeds. I use them. They're very sacred. They're organic, too. And I have it with uh, frankincense and mars. It's amazing. Some uh, cool little silver drops in there. It's antiseptic. Yeah, the frankincense burning. This is antiseptic and sandalwood. I got the, like the holy kind they use. Like It's very nice. It's very holy. One of them is actually called Holy Tulsi. Holy, to, holy Basil. If I put uh, a little bit of rub sage, organic sage. I think I put, yeah, three bay leaves that are organic. Or simply organic. Yeah. I'm rocking it, and it smells really good. I put the good luck and the good fortune, good power, and power. Green, uh, green incense. I hadn't done incense in a while. Cause so I gave my big incense thing away to my daughter with the fifty bucks that time. Fifty dollars was in the cylinder, so I gave her all those. So I had. Have a smaller bottle of it and I'm creating my own a little bit of turmeric put a little bit of beep B uh B pollen B vitamins really an immune booster yeah I do feel my lungs and my body strengthening and I've been doing 
I'll do an inhaler and, and uh, was getting out of breath, gathering my stuff, trying to go quickly to do things. <laughs> but my inhaler. Yeah. I'm just uh, I'm talking to y'all of y'all and getting my thoughts out there without judgment, without. Uh, I want to say recourse without, uh, you know, judgmental, you know. Bullshit, fuckery, you know. You don't kick people when you're down, you know. Just keep going, just keep going. And um, I'm very, very fucking happy, though, I'll tell you that. <sighs> do you want to call it venting? It's not, I didn't do anything wrong to vent. It's um, just telling you how things make me react or how I cope with loud noises. And you'll see thousands of videos by autistic people and Asperger's people how loud noises destroy their lives. They actually go insane because of the fuckery of a stupidity and and uh, inconsideration of others. They won't. Well, most of them narcissists. They're inconsiderate or they're just stupid. They're plain stupid and they even admit they're stupid. They admit to me they're stupid. Wise up. Don't do stupid shit. Like I said, do the regeneration of the brain cells. Change your RNA and DNA. I changed my uh, my uh, RNA a few years ago. Or got a woke. I used to believe all that crazy, all that shit on TV and all that. TV shows, I used to believe all that too. I was in the Matrix too. I wasn't born out of the Matrix. I didn't always know. I had intuitive abilities and I had, you know, I was in, a, I grew up in a cult, so my grandmother would say, you know, we have until about year two, it's the end of the times. We have maybe till the year 2000 or 2020 or 3000, but, you know, all this. Things in the, she said, like, not really things in the Bible, but these things is going to happen. I see visions. Maybe she saw visions, but she didn't have the timing where it was in 2000. But I have my stuff since 2000. I have a, a whole supply of things, and I bring them wherever I go. I, I, uh, like, I have prepared food and stuff, and then I, um, put the oldest ones in the front and the newest in the back, and I have rotating. Those we'd all starve to death. I don't who who is here who's here supporting me? Just oh, myself. Who's here paying my bills? Myself only. Exactly. My kids are amazing kids. They help with they help. They help do the dishes. They help keep it clean. I need their help too. They need me and I need them. But we're all independent. They all have jobs. They all pay their own all their own bills, their phones, all their own stuff car payments, whatever it is. I don't have to pay that. But, um, yeah. So, yeah. But I do pay for the car that Furman drives around, and I don't go with him because he'll try to get me to put gas in the tank just to go a little ways. He has these little tricky things that he does. He doesn't want to pay for stuff. I don't go with him. I say no. Make a video of it. I just say no. Make a video of it. I've been saying no for since they separated from me in divorce papers. When he when I got divorce papers, I actually lived here. I was here for a little while. When I got divorce papers and he took my kids away with the cops after I drove for a week, that was it. I was done. So yeah, I'm happy now. <laughs>